Kuzu Zumbala, Namaste, good morning to all respected online viewers. Long live their majesties, long live our leaders and long live our friendship. Welcome to this online Ayurveda and Yoga Workshop, Embassy of India, Thimpu, ICCR, Nehru Wangchuk Culture Center. Yoga teacher, I'm KV SSN Muthi here. My sincere prayers to the Almighty to see all the best things to their majesties in the whole Bhutan also. So coming this citation is from Subhashitani. It's saying that, Purva Janma Krutam Papam Vyadi Rupena Bhadate Tat Shantihi Danaihi Aushadaihi Japa Homa Surarchanaihi so in coming to the uh, regarding diseases we have four types of diseases uh, like uh, because of our present own karma and because of our own previous karma as well as because of heredity as well as because of occupational karma uh, like what we call uh, collective karma and occupational diseases also so uh, diseases can be happened through any line and any uh, a, any source but here, uh, it, this text is saying that Tat Shantihi Danaihi Aushadaihi Japa Homa Surarchanaihi. So, if once uh, we are suffering from these diseases or disorders, so we have many roots to keep the diseases calm. One is uh, like a charity for the good regions to the temples or the, the concerned people, as well as Aushadaihi. Aushadaihi means medicines in different uh, medical departments, English medicine or Ayurveda medicine or homeo or Yunani or Siddha as well as yoga as well as remaining traditional medicines also. So here Japa, Japa means mantra chanting, it depends on the traditional belief. Homa means spiritual rituals, especially for the region of the diseases and disorders as well as Sura Archanaihi, it's also praying to the God. So through this available ways, anyone can be feel happy by doing these simple techniques. Uh, plus, again, I'm uh, stressing on these coming points called please drink hot water as well as try to keep safe physical distance when you are going outside. Always cover your uh, facial organs with proper masks and covers. And when you are coming back to the home, please wash them properly as well as carry your hand sanitizers to sanitize your hands. So do not touch any surfaces when you are going outside as well as throat gargling, use hot water and estimadu powder as well as uh, what we call uh, tripala powder also for the clearing of the throat, uh, oil pulling technique or water pulling technique. So you can add sesame oil uh, or you can add plain hot water to clean the mouth at least five to six times. So it is good to uh, clean the mouth and the throat because of the phlegm related issues. Uh, as well as try to use steam inhalation in a day three to four times by adding ajuvine seed oil or eucalyptus oil as well as try to take eight hours adequate sleep one more hour required if you are more active in front of the screens and computers and mobiles uh, take vitamin d vitamin a vitamin c uh, like a zinc based diet it is abundantly available in the uh, local seasonal fruits and vegetables as well as uh, garlic ajuvine seeds ginger uh, ilachi pepper dalchini all these are home ingredients which also very important in ayurveda to keep the immunity level well uh, as well as try to use lavang cloves powder plus uh, honey mixture maybe 10 to uh, 15 grams enough for a uh, 100 gram 100 ml of hot water to drink uh, because of the throat uh, phlegm related issues as well as coming to golden golden milk preparation or kada chai or uh, you can uh, take two drinks also but it, uh, please give some time in between these two daily twice you can take these two uh, chavan prash as well as local cordyceps and local shilajit also good to give good immunity balance and good to uh, give the dhatu balance also inside uh, moderate exercises including uh, back bending exercises as well as uh, breathing exercises also important so coming to the this week disorder leukoderma please avoid uh, sea based foods especially fish oils uh, fish and fish oils especially fish oils many people are using fish oils for the uh, cosmetic purpose please avoid them if you are suffering with the leukoderma issues like our uh, some of the skin issues then uh, try to don't take tamarind related diets don't take citrus related diets do not uh, uh, don't take special uh, non-vegetarian especially dry varieties please avoid all dry varieties N uh, please avoid alcohol and smoking also as well as avoid doma and pan and uh, this kind of uh, uh, tobacco items then uh, try to avoid spicy items and and uh, uh, don't come 
uh, under the uh, direct uh, sunshine between 9 o'clock to 4 o'clock because strong sunlight also giving harm to the uh, skin when you are coming outside please use umbrella or caps uh, please remember that soralia seeds very important it's also called as bakuchi seeds uh, like uh, it will one one way of a stimulation to the melanin hormone inside also it is good to stimulate the liver functions also because all the skin related issues uh, it's because of uh, liver imbalances as well as kappa imbalances as well as paicha pitta imbalances also but still in our uh, ayurveda we have uh, like a few oils which are very good called maha neela thail uh, as well as kadira rista uh, also very good in the management of the skin diseases and disorders as well as manjishkwadi churnam uh, as well as chandra prabhavati as well as uh, avalagu uh, avalagu like uh, what we call uh, avalagu lehyam so it is also like available in the ayurveda stores uh, some are for internal applications some are for external applications also so here uh, in yoga also we have different techniques called omitting technique dhauti kriyas also very good to uh, giving good health to the liver and pancreas and the abdominal organs uh, like nauli and urjana bandha as well as agnisara kriya and few bandhas and mudras in yoga therapy also very important techniques to give good skin complexion not only that and longevity also so coming today's our uh, ayurveda preparations we have very uh, uh, three preparations one is soralia seed powder take 50 grams of soralia seed powder after that try to take neem leaves powder neem leaves powder available in the market or online also it is available and uh, as well as so here vayu vidanga or uh, false black pepper it's also available in the market it take 50 grams of each so altogether it will it will go 150 grams again mix it properly grind it properly then take only three 3 grams from the whole solution only 3 grams so mix with honey as well as uh, try to mix with the uh, 100 ml of hot water try to take in early in the morning empty stomach if once you will uh, prepare this kind of solution one hour after uh, this solution please take meals so that please give some time for this medicine before one hour after one hour so don't take any food this is also good preparation this is the internal application then second uh, second practice is what we call the same uh, soral uh, soralia seed powder as well as plumbago plumbago means what we call chitra mulakam as well as uh, like a changalva costa or what we call costa it's a, it's also available in the with the same name take that powder so all all together mix with properly 10 grams each mix with properly then after that take uh, sesame oil again mix it properly then try to heat or boil it so it, it will it will come like a, a thick paste then after that apply that paste on the uh, like mother patches and white patches so after this adding on the skin try to come out towards the sun morning early morning around seven o'clock so this is also very important technique so uh, falling sunshine like early morning falling sunshine is very important for the skin so next one is uh, internal application so take uh, black ketachu bark powder black ketachu bark powder may be available in the market or you can see the other references also black ketachu uh, bark powder as well as neem bark powder so if you want to take 50 grams for plus 50 grams so again try to mix it properly then in the early in the morning uh, from that whole solution take only 15 grams for 100 ml water so mix it properly boil that water see that 100 ml water should reach 70 ml so it's kind of decoction so early in the morning this uh, like uh, this application should go in, in empty stomach so this is also good preparation to give proper uh, like uh, health to the liver uh, re related issues as well as uh, skin related issues also so through these simple techniques anyone can be uh, like uh, getting uh, healthy so this is these are not really medicines these are uh, really homes home remedies or these are really plant based uh, remedies only so anyone can prepare easily so like uh, in, including that 
Stress levels also may be a causing factor for the diseases and disorders. Fear factors, phobias, uh, as well as restlessness. These are all uh, what we call multi factors to give the uh, ill health to the body. Please remember adequate sleep required and uh, like uh, engage yourself in many activities. Always don't feel bored, feel active and energetic when you are doing your works. So in the next week we are meeting at the same time, same place. Uh, we will see more applications in the same Ayurveda practices. Let's join to the yoga, yoga exercises. Alright, sun salutation is our regular practices. Please remember for any kind of disease and disorder, as we mentioned in our previous text call, uh, mantras also will give you positive vibrations to the body, especially gland health, skin health, liver health, internal vital organs health. So in, la in longevity, especially uh, breathing and breathers, our mantra chanting itself depends on the pranayam. Uh, so if you have your traditional belief, you can follow this mantra chanting and sloka chanting and vijayakshara chanting while doing these exercises or just uh, plain you can take uh, only physical exercises. Okay, take long, slow, deep inhalation and exhalation. Then after that inhalation, lift your both the arms, hasta uttanasan, about to the head, coming to pranamasan called kailasha mudra. From there to uh, uh, chest, bring your pranamasan called anahata pranamasan. So take a long, deep, slow inhalation and exhalation. Om hiran mayena patrena satyasyapi hitam mukham. Tatvam Pushan Apavrunu Satya Dharmaya Drustaye Om Hram Hrim Hrum Hraim Hraum Raha Mitra Ravi Surya Bhanu Gagapusna Hiranya Garbhamaricha Aditya Savitra Arka Bhaskaraya Namaha Touch your both the arms forward and lift your both the arms up. Once completely pull yourself up. Hasta Uttanasan to Ardha Chandrasan or Ardha Chakrasan. From there again keep your body straight. Once pull yourself up. Then very slowly bend the body forward called Pada Hastasan. Then here after that right leg stretch back called Aswa Sanchalanasan. Horse riding posture. Then back leg straight on the toes. Back leg knee up and slowly join your forward leg to back called Santulanasan or Dandasan. Then completely press the body down towards the floor called Asta Anga Namaskarasan. Then lift your body as a lifted head cobra or like a sea wave called Bujangasan. And back leg straight on the toes and completely push your body inside called Parvatasan. And right leg must be your forward leg Aswa Sanchalanasan horse riding posture. And back leg straight on the toes and back leg knee up. Join your back leg to the forward leg called Pada Hastasan. Then slowly lift your both the arms up and very slowly Hasta Uttanasan. From there, once completely pull yourself up, slightly put a back bend and slowly come back. Come to the Pranamasan, about to the head, Kailash Mudra, and from there to chest, Anahata Pranamasan. Take a long, deep inhalation and exhalation. After that, Inhalation, lift your both the arms, then very slowly exhalation, wide spread your arms and slowly keep them down at your thighs. Soon after that, lock your hands back and slightly wide your legs but keep your toes inside and keep your body straight for safe inhalations and exhalations. Long, deep, slow inhalations and exhalations <clears throat> and then slowly come back. So today's our next yoga posters will be on the leg stretching, some of the posters very good for the leg stretching and for the hip stretching so the next coming exercise is for all uh, like uh, especially uh, the women who are in the postnatal period uh, especially for them also it is very important practices so take a long pass here <coughs> so coming to horse riding posture one of the good variation ashwa daharti asan or sirosparsa bhunamasan in the horse riding posture variation so here right leg, keep your right leg back. Then after that, try to wide your right leg to the far right side. In the same right leg toe line and put your right hand 
then here left leg also just walk forward then take a long pause please remember while doing the practices if you will catch uh, strain or uh, if you will catch cramps immediately withdraw and um, uh, after few seconds again resume the class then here uh, throughout the practice you can put your back leg on the toes or you can put your leg on the knee also according to your convenient uh, convenient space please please perform then here try to push your chest down towards the floor for a while stay here one two three four five six seven eight nine then slowly come back then here back leg down and keep your back leg straight then after that slowly stand your body on your back leg knee then after that join your forward leg to back leg few seconds to sit on the vajrasana to relax your thighs or you can choose butterfly movement also so any convenient post practices take a long slow and a deep inhalation exhalation then here opposite side same thing put your right leg as a forward leg then try to uh, like give proper distance then here back leg is your left leg try to make it wide as possible as maximum then here in the line of your back leg toes then try to put your uh, uh, sorry left left leg toes put your left hand also so your left hand and your left leg toes should come in the same line then try to put your right arm on the knee or on the floor so according to your back leg convenience you can put your knee down on the floor or you can be on the toes also now try to push your body down with exhalation few seconds to stay now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then slowly come back then after that back leg bend properly on the floor then slowly keep your back leg straight then very slowly rest your body by sitting in the vajrasana again feel that long slow and a deep inhalation and exhalation still further long and a deep inhalation and exhalation all right and now coming to for the same leg stretching here at the chandrasan so again keep your left leg as a forward leg so try to adjust your back leg by keeping them on the toes or on the knee then here adjust your forward leg if you want better leg stretching so you can put your leg still more forward and here try to push your abdomen forward on the thigh then try to uh, give a small stress on the back leg thigh so that your body should go down as well as forward also then here lift your both the arms up and few seconds to stay now and if possible as back as possible bend the body back and one two three four five then very slowly come back and relaxation then very slowly put your both the hands on the forward leg knee then slowly push your body back on the back leg knee then again few seconds to sit for relaxation for the thigh take a long pause inhalation and exhalation and opposite side same thing uh, stand properly again long and slow and deep inhalation exhalation so keep your right leg as a forward leg then try to put your back leg uh, on the toes or on the knee support then here uh, like lift your both the arms up again few seconds stay ardha chandrasana 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then slowly come back relaxation then again keep your back leg knee on the floor and slowly push your body back and sit on the knees again again long and slow deep inhalation and exhalation so because of our time concern we are doing only 5 seconds or 10 seconds but according to your time limit you can choose more time or more repetitions also <coughs> then here coming to the next exercise uh, take a long pause here coming to the another way of leg stretching all right keep your both the legs stretch forward then after that Uh, stretch your right leg to the far right side so when you open your right hand your right leg and right hand should come like parallel then after that fold your left leg inside try to put your uh, left leg heel at your perineal region and take again long slow inhalation then open your right hand till your right toes if possible 
or you can catch your right toes also or you can put your right hand on the right knee then here the exercise is left hand open properly then here completely bend and try to catch the same leg toes with the left hand few seconds stay now one two three four five six seven eight nine then very slowly come back release and very slowly relaxation then slowly keep your hand down this comes under janu sirasan variation called parivrutta janu sirasan then slowly keep your both the legs together and you can choose butterfly exercise or any post uh, stretching practices few seconds uh, feel the relaxation from the pelvic region to thighs and hamstring and the knees and long slow and a deep inhalation and exhalation and slowly stretch your both the legs forward and coming to samasthiti pre position then here the same exercise opposite side open your left leg to the left far stretch 180 degree angle stretch then after that fold your right leg inside try to put your heel closer to the perineal region then open your left hand to check the convenience then you can put your left hand on the thigh or on the knee or on the fore leg or even till the toes are you can catch your toes also be very convenient and very uh, like very confident while doing the postures then here lift your alternate arm and try to catch your the same like toes with your right hand or alternate hand then few seconds stay now it's also side bending as well as leg stretching one two three four five six seven eight nine then very slowly come back release the posture and very slowly relaxation and slowly keep your both the legs together again coming to butterfly movement or knee turns or any post stretches practices again long slow deep inhalation exhalations all right now slowly stretch your both the legs forward coming to samasthiti then after that coming to any convenient posture to perform the pranayam lotus or half lotus or uh, like sukhasan or vajrasan diamond posture or any convenient posture few seconds deep uh, deep slow inhalation exhalation again in the pranayam also beginning to the pranayam also we have shloka and mantra chanting according to your uh, belief system you can follow the mantra chanting or you can just take the physical exercises okay here take a long pause coming to mantra sadhan om kesavaya swaha om madhavaya swaha ओम नारायणाय स्वाहा ओम अद्य सधी तत्फल सिद्ध्यम आसन पूर्वका प्राणायामदीन करिष्ये ओम सेंद 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 देन स्लोली कीप युअर हैंड्स डाउन सो टुडे इज लाइक इन दिस वीक वी आर सीइंग द सेम प्राणायामस only anulom vilom pranayam including kapala bhati today also we are doing the same structure so here keep your position straight as we know that kapala bhati is a wonderful practices to cut the phlegm related issues vastrava loha karasya raicha purav sasam bhramo kapala bhati rvikhyata kapa dosha visoshini its nickname is called kapa dosha visoshini nullifier it's a Uh, phlegm related issues nullifier okay coming to practices very simple practices keep your position straight coming to 10 strokes of kapalabhati but do it very slow don't go fast starting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 long deep inhalation exhalation second spell same kapala bhati 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 again long deep inhalation exhalation 
So when you have uh, heart related issues or blood pressure or vertigo like throwing sensation issues in the head. So better to perform this Kapalabhati very slow or avoid or still better is take advice from your yoga teacher. Last spell starting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again, long, slow, deep inhalation, exhalation. Then after Kapala Bhati, Kriya Abhyas, coming to Pranayam practices, Anuloma, Viloma Pranayam, very important practices, uh, especially it's also called as stress buster. So when you have time, uh, immediately don't jump into your mobile work or any other uh, like uh, useless works, please immediately concentration on your breath or still if your environment will permit you, try to do this simple Anulom Vilom Pranayam. Okay, keep your body straight, take a long deep inhalation and exhalation. Then open your right hand, last two fingers and right hand thumb to close and open the nostril, this mudra called Pranayama Mudra. Then close your left nostril and breathe in with your right nostril. and slowly completely breathe out with the left nostril and inhalation with the left nostril and alternative nostril breathe out again inhalation with the right nostril exhalation with the left nostril So last inhalation with the left nostril and alternative nostril complete exhalation. And alternative nostril last inhalation and left nostril last breathe out. Then slowly put your hand down and feel that long but slow inhalations and exhalation. The pranayam purpose is slow inhalation, slow exhalation. So uh, like uh, except one or two pranayamas, remaining all pranayamas, we should not make sound. So no need of make any sound in the pranayamas except one or two pranayamas and kriyas only. Remaining all pranayamas should go very slow and very slow uh, that breathe outs also. So after finishing your pranayama exercises also, please take out some time to do the dharana practices if you know well or you can do chanting, mantra chanting or you can do trataka abhyas concentration practices or nidra yoga, yoga nidra or at least you just take power nap. Uh, after finishing your total yoga workout, take 15 minutes time to take bath, uh, further 5 minutes time to uh, take breakfast. In the afternoon, uh, before your lunch hour, please see all the possibilities how to do a Nidra Yoga, Yoga Nidra or how to take a power nap to improve the quality of the life, to improve the quality of the work, to improve the quality of your concentration. Uh, in the evening after finishing your office works, housework, sports and games work, at least give half an hour time to uh, do these simple yoga exercises including one back bending exercises as well as including uh, one inverted, simple inverted postures also. Uh, like uh, tomorrow, like uh, nah, next week, Monday, uh, uh, in this week, today we have last class. So we, our next class will be begin on the Monday, same timing. So when we are meeting at the same place, same time, we will see still more applications in Ayurveda and more yoga exercises also. Until then, take care of yourself. Uh, stay away from the bad habits and do yoga also. Thanking you all to giving me this wonderful opportunity.